This is a quick overview of gravitational waves and why they're important, presented by Connor Partridge. What are gravitational waves? Gravitational waves are ripples in the fabric of space-time, a concept introduced by Albert Einstein's theory of general relativity over a century ago. They're generated by the acceleration of massive objects, such as black holes or neutron stars, when they're undergoing violent and asymmetric motions, like orbiting each other or merging. The process starts when these massive objects are in motion, causing distortions in space-time akin to dropping a stone into a calm pond, creating waves that propagate outwards at the speed of light. These waves carry energy across the universe, stretching and compressing space itself as they pass through. So, how do we detect them? Detecting gravitational waves requires incredibly sensitive instruments called Michelson interferometers. These use lasers to precisely measure tiny changes in distance caused by passing gravitational waves. They achieve this by splitting a beam of light into two paths, one of which is altered by a movable mirror. It then recombines them and directs them toward the light detector at the bottom. A Michelson interferometer is designed so that when the two beams of light are recombined, they will be completely out of phase, canceling each other out. However, if something like a gravitational wave comes along and distorts one of the arms, then the detector will begin to register a signal. These sensors have to be so sensitive in order to detect a gravitational wave that they have to be gigantic. The arms on the LIGO inferometer, for example, are each 2.5 miles long. And we had to build two of them pretty far apart from each other in order to have double confirmation that what it registered is in fact a gravitational wave. When a gravitational wave passes through the Earth, it momentarily stretches and squeezes the planet, causing infinitesimally small changes in distance between objects. By measuring these minuscule changes, scientists can infer the properties of the original cosmic event that produced the waves, providing insight into the most extreme phenomena in the universe, such as black hole mergers. Why is this discovery significant? Well, for most of human history, everything we knew about the larger universe came from the observation of light using telescopes. Essentially, when it comes to our scientific knowledge of the universe, we have been limited to our sense of sight. Imagine if, within your own home, you could only tell what was going on in the house at large because of what you could see. Say, as a teenager, you were trying to watch a rated R movie in your parents' basement. Limited to your sense of sight, you could only know that your parents were coming when they were in the hallway outside the door, far too late to change the channel. With the addition of your sense of hearing, however, you could tell that your parents are coming by the time they've taken two steps down the stairs because you can hear their footsteps and infer what's happening based off of the way it sounds. You may even be able to tell which of your parents it is by the heft with which they walk. The point is, think about how much more you know because of that one additional sense. And when you do, think about how much more we can discover about the universe thanks to the discovery of gravitational waves which gives scientists a similar additional sense.